Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. Hope everyone is doing great. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about NX customization. So this is very important guys when you are working on NX workbench, uh, NX application for a very long time and your work profile is having around 90% of work in um, NX. So in that case, it is very important for you. Um, and others also, it is very important. So NX customization makes your you know, uh, work faster and your productivity uh, will be more and it will be very useful for you uh, so before going to uh, NX customization as you can see I have just opened a simple model here in order to show you how we can make an NX customization so the first uh, thing is uh, you can change a theme so theme is uh, you can change the color of the theme whatever now we can see here it is a white uh, theme which is uh, you know by default uh, in all the nx version uh, this will be the default one so i always uh, prefer to keep it in uh, black screen when i was working so i will just show you how we can do that you can just go to file and preferences and user interface so if you go to here uh, you can see the first one is layout and second one is theme so this theme you can able to change it to anyone here so i prefer you to go for darker so since you are working uh, most of the time into an um, nx application so it will harm your eyes if you are in uh, you know um, a very bright uh, color so in that case you just need to uh, reduce the color uh, in, in order to uh, keep your eyes safe so i i have keep it as dark and you can just click ok so as soon as click ok you just need to restart it but i will just show you how it looks so this is the way how it looks so this is a darker uh, you know version of uh, nx so i'll just keep it as it, uh, reverse it because uh, when i you know keep this dark version and start making a video so everyone will comment on uh, you know uh, asking me the which version of nx is this so that is why i'll just keep it as whatever the recommended version so this is the light version of uh, you know nx which is a default Default one version so always this will be switched on uh, but you can change it anyway in file going to preferences okay so this is the one and uh, the second one is customization you can see here the tabs home analysis and applications and other other tabs are there so if any tab is missing over here uh, you can just right click here and you can add any tab so you can see here developer option is uh, not available so once I click the developer option so it will be added here you can see the developer option so in the in the same case uh, if you are missing with any of the tab you can just right click here and switch on these so suppose if your work profile is in such a way that you are always working on assemblies and uh, you know modeling and you don't need any other applications say for example curves and developers rendering is not required and tools are not required so in that case you, it is a mess in keeping all the tabs in there so in that case you can just switch off curves and uh, developer options and uh, you know selections everything you can just switch off on whatever the tabs that are required you can just keep it over here so and the next one is uh, you can see the uh, this whatever the top border so this is called as a top border you can see menu and selection filters and this so most of the cases this will not be switched on so i always prefer to keep this top border on so you can see once you switch off it will go and when you see you switch on uh, it will appear so these things you can you know uh, if you want to change these things what you can do is what in the top bar there will be a arrow here at the end so you can go here and switch on the things whatever you want so this is the top and you can switch on the menu and you can switch off the menu so these things you can just take it inside the menu what are the things you need so suppose inside the menu if you don't want analysis so you can go to here and go to menu and switch off this uh, analysis and information PMI if you are not using a PMI you can switch off this so uh, it will create you know um, you know very useful and handy for you working uh, very very faster and your productivity will be increased so and one more thing is like you can see here uh, the tabs which are there here are not only the tabs you can be able to create a one more tab uh, if you want so i'll just go to right click and go to customize here so once you do customize uh, it will take some time and you can see here there is an icon so new tab so you can just go to here new tab and type that name of your tab so i'll just give as santosh and i'll just click ok so as soon as you click ok you can see here the tab is generated but uh, we, we cannot able to see the icons here so if you want to keep the any icons over there so what you can do is you can search here so say for example i will just keep sketch so sketch i'll just put the sketch over here so i'm just searching the uh, whatever the uh, commands i need and i'm just pulling that and uh, keeping it over here so suppose if you want extrude so i'll just put extrude 
and search extrude and put it over here so simply similarly like that if you can make a n number of you know whatever the whatever the commands that we have here so depending on your requirement you can make them and it is not recommended only to make a modeling or uh, any sketcher environment it you can add any kind of application say uh, electrical routing mechanical routing as well as drafting uh, you know uh, commands anything you can put so similar way you can put any number of you know icons over here so and it will be quickly you can able to access these commands and you can put any number of icons any uh, say for example if you want a measure command you can put it over here or any uh, clip section command uh, you can able to put it over here so any kind of uh, you know commands can be uh, you know pulled over here and you can place it over here and you can use it uh, at any point okay so this is the one of the customization and more importantly say for example as soon as you start the uh, you know an next application either it may be a you know modeling application or a drafting application or any other application say uh, if you have created a, a new tab which is at the last and uh, as soon as you open it it has to be appear uh, in the home so in that case what you have to do is just pull it over and keep it in first tab and you can just close it so now what happens is if you keep it in a first uh, tab before the file home so whenever you open any of the uh, workbench say it may be an um, electrical workbench or it may be a drafting or whatever it is the home uh, whatever the first tab will be this and if you want to go to home you have to click it here so this is the one advantage if you are keeping it at the first so what i usually do is whatever the electrical routing commands i use i will put it in this tab and whatever the drafting uh, commands I use I will put it in this tab so whenever I switch to any of the application uh, only the tab I use is uh, this is the customized tab so this is the one tab I'm going to use uh, for any of the workbench so because all the uh, commands and analysis and whatever the uh, suppose in some uh, companies they have created an add-ons so uh, their own add-ons they have created all the commands can be pulled over here and they can be kept here and you don't need to search for uh, any of the commands over here so it will be available every time in the top bar here okay so this is the one uh, way how we can create an annex uh, tabs so stay tuned guys uh, in the next video i'm going to give you how we can make a create a keyboard shortcuts so keyboard shortcuts are very important guys so as you all know that c is for geometric constraints and x is for extrude as you can go, go here extrude so so x is the one highlighted so x is the extrude so if if you are using the default versions of keyboard shortcuts then it is good but if you want to change an extrude to s for example the letter s so you can do it in the keyboard shortcuts that i'm going to show you in the next video please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you guys